Hey there YouTube! This week's video shares a review of a recent stay that we did at the Huntington Firefox KOA near Huntington, West Virginia. It's in the Metro Valley area there. It is a very nice holiday KOA. We will share the features that we saw there and some of the local unique travel sites that you can see within a 10 mile radius of that campground. that the turn into the, the um, frontage road to get into the park has an extremely sharp curve to it. So uh, you need to be prepared to swing wide for that. We made it in okay with our Class A pulling a tow vehicle. Uh, just, you know, be slow and be careful and you'll be able to do fine, just like we did. Peepaw and I did take some time out to go and see two or three of the locally known odd statuary items that you can see uh, in this area. And I'm marking them with a what three words. And if you don't know what what three words is, it's a new mapping system that's been designed that gives you three words for the unique location that you can then more easily find those sites than you can with a GPS coordinate. So I will share the what three words for these three unique statues and road oddities that we saw. The first roadside animal that we saw was the pink elephant. And there is a story that I'll leave a link to where this was brought back in the 1970s to Taylor's Furniture and Gifts. So it's been there in this location since that time. The business no longer exists, but the pink elephant is really a cool little kitschy kind of a statuary that's there on Route 60 in Barbersville, West Virginia. Look and see what the what three words are. Then we stopped by the Frost Top Drive-In for a great mug of root beer and that rotating root beer mug on top of the drive-in is a well-known attraction locally. This giraffe at this car wash is the other roadside attraction. This KOA was true to form to all KOAs that we've stayed in so far in that it was very clean and well maintained. One unique thing was that they only had swimming in the lake. They only had a swim lake, no swimming pools, um, but it was a beautiful lake and you could do some fishing and things there too. And you'll see that in some of the pictures here that we're getting ready to show you next. There's lots of shade. There's a beach down there. Got all these little trampolines and stuff. Nice chairs to sit under. Nice swing set to sit under. All these chairs over here by the store. This is their fishing lake, which is just across from. With. Here's the back view of it with like the back side of the store and the lake. And right over here. The castle's out of sight. Reaching for the 
looks like the dam is down over there and disconnects the two. So I wonder if it's not spring fed from up that way. It looks like there could be spring heads up there. And the road right there where you see car lights, headlights, that's uh, Highway 60. Highway 60 and Interstate 64 here. So, a little bit of road noise, but you know, if you're used to road noise, it wouldn't bother you. Yeah, but after being in the RV driving all day, we're just stretching our legs. Cookie and Peepaw have already took off. They're way ahead of us, as usual. Because they like to go, go, go. Don't you, Cookie? You like to go, go, go. Don't you? Yeah. She says, hey. Okay. She's doing fine. She's doing great. Kids can do, but it doesn't look like it's open right now because of COVID. And for the same reason that I did not go into the store at uh, Lexington, I will not here either. Uh, West Virginia's not having as many cases in West Virginia, but better safe than sorry. So just a quick peek of how we set up, because um, we're just staying overnight. We didn't do the pet corral or the sewer racks, um, and uh, we're just going to drain the one gray and black tanks from the bathroom, not the one from the kitchen. And the dogs, they do pretty good with just staying around. Cookie, we kind of have to keep her on a leash. She's a little more rambunctious, but Callie won't go anywhere. But this is our first time of like having the. LED lights on and everything. It's a great location, but one thing to be aware of is that this park does border the backside of it right along Interstate 64. So we did have some significant uh, road noise. However, it was summertime and we had the air conditioner going, so we weren't particularly disturbed at night while we were trying to sleep. It's definitely a good spot to go and stay for even an extended stay because there's things around there like Blinko Glass, there's some coal fields right around that, Marshall University is not very far away either. So it's a nice place and it's worth your time to go there and stay. So Peepaw and I would go back again for sure. So we hope that you enjoy this review and if you have any questions or you have input for things that you know about that region, please drop that in the comments below and share that with the rest of us so that we can all learn from each other. Guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Cookie here. This was Sunny and Cows and my first time to spend our night in an RV together, but it was an exciting time and we learned real fast how to look out that doggy window. So maybe sometime we'll see you as we're going by on the road. Come on back and see our next adventure real soon. Bye-bye.